Hello everyone and welcome back to part mod development in Kerbal Space Program with Realism Overhaul. In this video I'm going to detail updates to my Real Rockets pack version 0.7.0 and first and foremost the reason why I decided to make this update was to introduce three versions of the RL10 engine. Originally I just had a sort of basic RL10 C1 with my Atlas V pack but there are different versions of the RL10 that are currently in service or about to be in service. Uh, so I updated the model based on the size and stats listed on the Aerojet Rocketdyne website. And so first of all we have the RL-10C. And uh, there is a little bit of a question about where they measure their length from and to. Uh, but the length is matching the length that they said, but it depends on where the top is basically. I mean, uh, is it the mounting point? Is it the top of the chamber? That's a question. So the length is right and the nozzle diameter is correct, uh, but it's just a little bit of a discrepancy there. It could be a longer sort of nozzle. Anyway, uh, but the engine stats for the C1 are, uh, as you would expect, 101.8 kilonewtons, 449.7 vacuum ISP. I double checked the mixture ratio for the oxidizer to the propellant uh, to the fuel, so that is correct. And the RL10C1-1, which is for Vulcan, is now sporting its correct stats and the slight nozzle extension that it has, just a 5-inch five, a five nozzle extension. They use inches. I was about to say centimeters, but they use inches. But yeah, so that's all the correct size and the correct stats, and it's actually a little bit lighter than the RL10C1 somehow. And uh, for the RL10C3, we now have 460.1 seconds of ISP, which they said, and the correct thrust and mass. I intend to make a custom EUS for SLS so that we can do proper comparisons. I've got uh, a sort of a presentation from Boeing that they did in 2018 with all the detailed numbers for it. So the dry mass and the usable repellent and the exact size. So I'll be working on that to make sure I've got, I mean, I like the one from Sobol, but I don't want to change the realism overall configuration for that because I didn't make that one. That was by Sobol as far as I know. So I'll just make a new model with uh, my own numbers uh, that I have gotten here. And so, yeah, so that's one update. These engines are now going to be part of the pack. I'll just go through what the rest of the pack entails now. So there's the Ariane 6 parts. And forgive me, there aren't any launches in this one. I'm just telling you what there is. I haven't changed the textures. I'll wait until they actually build the rocket to change the textures. I like these ch textures anyway. Uh, so there's the Ariane 6, and actually uh, we do have the engines and all. So it's the upper stage tank. There's the booster decouplers, the booster cores, uh, which attach to, well, of course, the booster decoupler. Uh, the first stage tank does include the interstage, so it has a decoupler on it. Uh, oh, right, uh, that requires the Vinci engine. The decoupler actually attaches to the Vinci engine. So let's just get all the pieces out and get the Vinci. Yep. The Vinci engine is one of the reasons why I wanted to get a fully accurate EUS. And that's because I wanted to see what happens when you put one on, or four on. So, okay, so we've got that, and then we've got booster mounting points and you can figure out where those go but uh, and the boosters and then the nose cones and then the fairings sorry I'm putting in the wrong direction here anyway uh, you'll have to come up with a separate payload adapter there's no decoupler on top of that and of course the Vulcane engine which will come with the pack as well Vulcane 2 I didn't make anything too special underneath here but, yep. Okay, so that's the Ariane 6 that comes with the pack. Atlas 5, of course, comes with the pack as well. And so those are my Atlas parts. Uh, multiple different kinds of fairings, both the 400 and 500 series interstage, the boat tail, the Centaur stage, the RD-180, and, of course, the core. So I'm not going to put it together. Uh, there are many ways to put the Atlas 5 together. I did not make the SRBs. I have not made SRBs. GS GSLV Mark III. I still need to make Mark II. I would like to do that. That's a fancy one too. 
Um, this probably needs some texture update, but it does have the benefit of having like photorealistic textures. I should put the C. I always have the stage actually connect to the engine. It, it, this one comes with its inner stage, so uh, it will decouple on its own. You'll need another payload adapter, and but I've got the fairing here. So that's the kind of size of fairing. This uh, the engines in particular could do with a uh, texture update on this one. I don't have the booster decoupler on this one. I just have the boosters, uh, so just a stock decoupler will do. I don't. I didn't know what the booster decoupler would look like. Potentially, just using the other one from the Ariane 6 might work, but it doesn't have a node on the inside. It does have the attachment point on the inside, I think, though. So it might work out. But anyway, so that's GSLV Mark III. GSLV has has its own payload adapter. Uh, it's just very simple. And then we have the third stage. The third stage engine is this KRE0, whoops, 007. And we have custom fairings. And uh, not that's first to second stage, second to third stage adapter. Then the second stage, and then the first to second stage adapter after we put on the engine, which is this vacuum one. Oh, not on that node. Let me put this on first. And then I think I might have had to do this. And sneak it on. Okay, now it should be on the right node, right? Yeah. And it's tough to get it on the right node otherwise. All right. So we have to put the inner stage on first, and then the first stage, and then the core engine, which is this four chamber one. And that's one of those. So that's the KSLV. That's new to the Real Rockets pack for this version. A launcher one, I'm not going to put together. It's really an old thing. Uh, it could do with an update, but I've got the Launcher 1 first stage tank, the Newton 3 engine, Newton 4 engine, but it's like one of the first mods that I made. And of course, you're going to have to figure out the 747 and decoupling from it. It's it's very complicated. Uh, so Long March 3. Now this is also fairly complicated and uh, one of the older ones, the third stage tank, you can see fairly basic. So at least I put the tags on, but the engines are especially basic. Uh, second stage engine, first stage engine, third stage engine, and then the verniers for the second stage. Anyway, there's a booster decoupler for the boosters on this one. Uh, what there isn't is a custom fairing or payload adapter. So that was just a procedural fairing for the Long March 3. Long March 5 is also part of the pack now, and it does have a custom fairing, lots of engines. And they're shiny, they're all new. And the upper stage looks something like EUS actually. Uh, uh, it's a hydro hydrogen oxygen one. Okay, so Long March 5. I have included, though things may change, Neutron. Yeah, and Neutron is fairly basic right now. Neutron first stage. And then the Archimedes vacuum on here. Second stage decoupler goes on to the second stage like that so it can mount inside at the right location on Neutron. The fairings open, it's right there. Uh, this doesn't have a decoupler on it. You actually have to put an, an additional decoupler. So there's the old core stage as well if you want to use what I thought it would be before they made their grand reveal. And then of course the Archimedes engines at the bottom. I will not belabor putting all of them on, but that is what we have with the Neutron rocket. There is the new Glenn rocket. And that is, as you've seen from my videos, a lot. So, oh, we've got a hydrogen burning Raptor if you want it, but, uh, and a hydrogen burning Raptor vacuum. I did update the configurations on Raptor, though not the look of Raptor. And uh, the configurations, uh, we have the max one, 
and we have the hypothetical one. So hypothetical is way out. Uh, the max is more like a uh, Raptor 2. So we've got the configurations on there like that. But we also have hydrogen burning Raptors if you want them. Uh, though uh, the stats are controversial. <laughs> so uh, I should bump up the stat on the vacuum one. It might be uh, better to have it at 455 or something. Uh, but yeah, uh, but that's uh, why that comes up with New Glenn, I have no idea. But BE4, BE3U, New Glenn, fairing, first stage tank, upper stage. So obviously uh, there will also be Starship, but first Pegasus. Pegasus parts are really, really old. That is not one of them. Uh, the coupler, fairing left, fairing right, instrument unit, first stage, second stage, third stage, all SRBs. So yeah. Good luck with that. Uh, Starship, there's a bunch of stuff. So, they, these are old ones. I haven't got my new Starship in because I have to figure out what to do with it in relation to the pass-through system because it was made with the pass-through system. So these are old Starship parts. Sorry about that. But Super Heavy has been updated and the engines have been updated. So there's that. So Super Heavy, originally I had this one with the fins at the bottom. Well, now we have the new tank, which is looking a little bit better as far as textures are concerned. But no fancy stuff, no fins at the bottom. Uh, great fins you'll have to get from somewhere else. I didn't want, I, I'm not good at control surfaces. But there's a 2021 tank, and this one has fittings for 29 engines at the bottom. Okay, so it's a ring of 20, a ring of 8, and one in the center. The 2022 version has fittings for 33 engines at the bottom. And that is a ring of 20, a ring of 12, and a ring of uh, just one in the center. A uh, same mass, by the way. Uh, so all three have the same mass. It's just different engine fittings and different look. Okay, and last but not least, Vulcan, which we have the updated RL10 for, so that you can use that. The Vulcan Centaur, I really ought to separate the mount off and make it a decoupler. But so yeah, now it's going to be C1-1 like that. And then there's the inner stage and the rest of the business. Multiple fairings available. Oh, the Atlas ones popped up. BE4, we've got them. They're hiding out here. Anyway, uh, there's also a adapter for a common Centaur if you want to use that. Vulcan engine mount. So first stage, I did not make the boosters. You'll have to get those from somewhere else. SRBs. Sure, they're easy enough for everybody to make. All right, so BE4s. Uh, okay, so that's what I've got in the Real Rockets pack right now. Just a bit of an update. The main additions being the new versions of the RL-10, updated configurations for the Raptors, uh, KSLV is included, Long March 5 is included, Neutron Rocket is included. So that's it. I'll put the link in the video description for the mod. And with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.